Good afternoon, everyone. Steve Georgia here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It's August 18th, and I'm bringing you guys your market wrap-up. Today started off, everything was about the outside markets. The stock market sharply lower, crude oil breaking back, the support that we had seen in the dollar with a rally there for the dollar. Um, the grains didn't really react as bad to what's going on right now. Crude oil down about $5.25, sharply lower, 82.30. Uh, stock market down 426 points, putting that 10,983 right now. That looks negative. The dollar up about 58 cents today. That's finding a significant recovery off of yesterday's sharply lower move. Um, so we found a recovery there. Corn down about 12 cents. So we've got December corn once again uh, dropped down below that 710 area uh, today, but found some good support in this in this region. A lot of concerns yet for yield. Um, a lot of concerns about the dry weather. Uh, there are some there is some rain in the forecast over the next five days, uh, moving through the weekend. Uh, Iowa looking to get quite a bit of rain. Same thing with Illinois. So we'll see if those rains materialize. A little too late for corn. Might help out a little bit, but. Uh, it might be a little bit late there. That may be beneficial on beans. But a lot of talk right now that the beans are already too late. And if we get the rains, uh, what's it going to do to yield? You know, the, the reality of the beans is that we are in a, a very tight stock situation. One bushel either way is going to change the balance sheets quite a bit. Uh, but beans being down six cents today, November went down below that 1350 area, ended up closing back above it near 1360. So we had about a 15 cent uh, move off the lows today. Still remaining six cents lower. But as I mentioned, still a very good close compared to what is going on in these outside markets. So we are finding some support yet for grains. Uh, wheat down about 18 and a half cents. Uh, that did pull back today. A lot of concerns yet. Uh, of us losing exports here to uh, uh, to Russia, uh, that kind of that played a toll today. But you know, it's we've seen a nice run for a lot of these markets today. Early, it was panic, get me out, and uh, that was the mentality early. But late in the session, guys are kind of wondering. We've had uh, what we've seen last week, down 400, 500 points in the stock market. What's happened the very following day? They've rallied back. So we have found a little bit of support. Maybe these guys trying to buy it, anticipating that that might happen again. Uh, but it was a solid close for the grains uh, compared to what is going on. Uh, the metals today, gold made a new high. You had gold up 32 bucks, uh, puts that 1826 right now. We had a new high 1829. Uh, so we are near those highs again. Uh, they are still you're still finding money run to the metals as far as a safe haven, and uh, that was certainly the case yet again today. Silver, 41 cents higher. Still kind of struggling um, at this $40 area. Uh, every time we're above it, we do find a, a nice pullback uh, down to that 37, 38 area. Uh, we are above it at this point. We'll see if it, if it can hold above that, maybe get a little strength if gold continues to run as well. Um, soft market setting back a little bit with its strong dollar. Big day yesterday in the softs. Uh, and then today, with the dollar being up 58 points, sugar setting back about 43, uh, 43 points today. Uh, cotton down about 67 points. Now, cotton rallied off the lows, much like these grains. Uh, we started off this morning sharply lower because of these outside markets. Cotton rallied back. That's a pretty solid close for cotton. Uh, we do feel cotton could have some upside right now and may continue to uh, find some value at these levels because of how dry it is in the south and the big concern right now, the big demand for cotton. So we'll see if that's the case. Uh, if we can jump above 113 in December, probably find another uh, another good run for cotton as well. Uh, but as far as livestock, you had fat cattle down 2 bucks today. Um, that's after a surprising uh, cash trade down $2. That was unexpected. We were trading up until this point about steady. Cash came in today about $2 lower. Uh, and that uh, that adjusted the markets very quickly. Feeders down uh, a couple bucks as well. Hogs down about 32 cents, just kind of leaking away. Uh, we have um, cash. Uh, the cash trade has been pulling back as well. We do feel that we're going to have 
maybe another couple weeks of this lower trade yet for the hogs. So we still feel that this negative uh, flow in this downward trend may continue a little longer. Uh, we've got some good strategies out there uh, on our research for a lot of these markets. I want you guys to take a look at that. If you haven't, we'll set you up with a free trial uh, for our website. And um, we also have a conference coming up here at the end of January that I want to mention and get your seats reserved for that. So if you don't know the dates, call us. We'll get you, uh, we'll get you any information that you need. Um, we also, on Monday, we're going to start our yield survey. So get out there. Take a look at, uh, at some of the, the corn in your fields. We will be calling you guys uh, next week uh, to find out what your yields look like in your areas. So uh, we greatly appreciate your, uh, your help with that. Give us a call over here with any questions you may have, 800-262-7538 or the website, allendale-inc.com. Hope you guys had a great day today and have a great rest of the week. Take care.